I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be redoing my dining room area. So if you've been here for a while, you know that this has kind of been an ever-changing spot in my house. I've just never really felt like it was complete until I found the Billy bookcase at Ikea. It is super inexpensive, but a really like big piece in now my living room that I am so excited to decorate and I really feel like it will kind of finish this space off. I felt like this area needed something more substantial like the Billy bookcase because uh, earlier I just had a chair and a really small side table and everything kind of felt at the same plane. I tried to add some pompous grass and some art to like give it height on this wall but that still wasn't working. So now we're going to go with this bookcase and I'm so excited. I know it's going to look amazing and I wanted to bring you guys along to show you how you can buy an inexpensive piece but make it look really expensive and nice and really change a room. So let's get into decorating. I'll show you guys kind of what my ideas are and how I do it and I'm very excited. So here's what I'm starting with. Um, I basically went around my house in my kitchen and anything that's kind of been shoved in closets or just haven't really had a space that I want to kind of showcase, I brought out. But then I also, you know, brought in some more like decorative things, but I love these like handmade bowls that I was gifted um, a couple years ago and I've just never really like had them out, but I think they're so pretty. Um, just like some of my new wine glasses, I have some like cookbooks that I love and I've just kind of always wanted to display but haven't had the spot for. Obviously some more just like plain white bowls. Um, I'll show you guys everything when I have it um, kind of set up, but that is what I'm starting with. I kind of just put everything on a table, and now I'm just going to start with this like clean slate, and I'm so excited. So I did add this little um, vase with the palm leaf and this little like metal sculpture piece on top. I wanted to put something on top, but I didn't want it to be like super big just because it is pretty close to my ceiling already. So that is kind of what I'm starting with. Um, obviously I'm gonna keep this chair, probably have to like adjust where it is. And then I have these little like wicker um, footstools, which are just from Ikea and have held up super well. Um, I will link everything below if you guys are interested in purchasing anything, it'll all be in the description below. So before I start decorating the fun part, I wanted to kind of show you guys how I laid out my shelves just because it is a little different than what you would probably expect from a bookcase. So I obviously have this top shelf which will be enough space for like a book, maybe a bowl and stuff that is maybe like a little bit lower, probably not like glassware or anything. But then this space, I left out one of the shelves. I didn't use all the shelves that come with the bookcase because I wanted to use this space kind of as um, a spot for a big piece of art, kind of like the, I don't know, the focal point of the bookshelf. So I kept one shelf out and then anything below it is all just like a normal bookcase. But I just wanted to point this out because it is a little bit more unexpected than the normal like bookcase setup. So I think it's gonna look really cool I've seen other pictures of people do this and I'm really excited about it all right the top shelf I'm gonna start with books and I get a lot of my books from Amazon um, but I've also found a couple at like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. but definitely um, Amazon has all of these and I will link like I said everything below so I just wanted to keep it really minimal so I just grabbed two of my favorite like mostly white books so I'm gonna put those up on the top shelf On top of the books, I'm going to put this really shallow dish that I got thrifting. I think I paid like $4 for it, and it's a really cool ceramic piece. So I encourage you guys to go to thrift stores, even if you're not a thrifter. I feel like for home goods, it is just a cool place to get pieces like this that you, I'm sure, could buy but would be really expensive. Or they're just like a little bit more unique than something that you could get at like West Elm or something. So I'm going to put this on top of my books. 
Right next to that, I'm going to put this big wooden bowl, which this will be one of my heavier pieces. And when I say heavy, it doesn't mean that it's like actually heavy, but just like visually. Um, it's like a bigger bowl. It's darker in color than obviously anything that I've already put on the shelf. So this will be considered one of the heavier items. So I'm going to put that on the top shelf next to the books. Okay, moving to kind of the main part of the bookcase, I'm going to put a piece of art that I painted. I actually have a video on how I did this, and I'll link it below if you guys want to watch. But I like this because the frame is still light, and so is the art. So even though it is the main like focal point of the bookcase, it's not going to be overwhelming for the eye. So I'm going to stick this in here and kind of play around with some smaller things to add to it to kind of create like a little vignette. So we have the art placed in the bookshelf and I put the art to the left side because if you remember, I put the bowl that is more of like the heavier piece on this shelf on the right side. So again, with like the balancing, I wanted to put the frame on the left side just to kind of keep that cohesive. And then I'm going to put this really pretty just like glass vase with some um, dried wheat. I'm not actually sure what this is called, but um, I'm going to put that next to it just to kind of have a little height because this is a bigger area than any other shelf. So I'm going to put that there and then I'm just going to throw a candle kind of right in front just to kind of add something else. And when you're creating kind of like a vignette, you want three or more pieces. So I think that looks really nice. It's really simple, clean, but yet will be kind of the focal point of the bookcase. So it's kind of important to step back every so often when you're working in a space like this, just to kind of feel and see how it looks from afar because from a really close up view, it can look a little different. So I'm gonna shut these doors and just see if I like what everything's looking like. For these bottom shelves, I'm going to use more of my practical, like actual dishware and my glasses and stuff like that. So even though I'm using that stuff, I still want it to look really nice. So I'm going to kind of mix in some of my bowls and my wine glasses with other like decorative pieces. But obviously like, this shelf is all just like decorative stuff. It's not anything that I'll really use. So I wanted these shelves below to kind of store those type of things. So I'm going to start with this shelf. So I thought I would show you guys quickly what I put on these lower shelves just to give you guys some ideas. Um, so I used those ceramic bowls that I talked about earlier and I kind of just imperfectly placed them. So there's like stacks of three, two, smaller bowls, bigger bowls, and I kind of like that they're not like perfectly like lined up and they're just like kind of in a more like natural, I don't know, way and I like that. Then I added this really pretty vase that I got from a friend and I kind of put more of this dried wheat to kind of keep that throughout the cabinet. And then moving down here, I got this uh, pottery, like I think it's actually like a bean bowl or something they call it, but um, I ended up putting a real plant in there and I think it looks really cute. I think bringing in like real plants and stuff kind of just like brings it a little bit more to life and I think it's kind of cool. I even draped the, va um, the vine over onto just these white bowls that I have. On the bottom shelf, I put a bunch of my wine glasses that I honestly didn't have even space in my cabinets for so I'm excited that I can kind of keep them out now which you can't really see them, but I feel like when you do see them, it just looks really pretty and like airy. So I wanted to put some of those in there. And then of course, this other um, ceramic piece that I just got at a local flower store. And then I put a bunch of matchbooks in there because I currently am obsessed with matchbooks. So that is everything that's on this bottom half. Moving on from the shelf, we are gonna work on the art that is gonna go above this chair 
chair. So I have kind of a bigger space, but I didn't want something that is super loud just because this cabinet is right next to it and that is kind of like the focal point of the area. So I got a bigger frame. Again, I went with the same lighter color wood frame, but then my art is a lot smaller than the frame. So there's just like a big matting around it, which I feel like um, kind of gives the eye a little bit of rest and it's not super crazy and like a huge print or something. So I'm going to hang this next to it. Um, I feel like the colors of this kind of go with the things that are in the cabinet and definitely tie all the like rest of the pieces that are in this room together. So um, I got this art at a local um, store that I love so much. It's called Golden Rule. It's in Minneapolis. If you live here or ever here, you need to go check it out. But um, I'm going to hang this next to the cabinet. All right, the art is hung and now I'm going to just add this throw pillow to the leather chair. So I wanted to use a white pillow because the leather chair is kind of dark. So I thought if I throw like a white, um, really simple pillow onto it, it'll kind of help tie together the whole look like with the bookshelf and the art and everything like that. So like I said, this is just from Target, super simple, but I love it. So I'm gonna throw this on the chair and then we're all done. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking I, now I'm thinking I Buy the cottage room blues, yeah I wanna Okay, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of coming along and decorating with me. If you guys want to see more decorating videos, more like Ikea hack videos, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!